This was the scene on Libya's eastern front near the town of Brega this week, as rebels continued to take on Gaddafi's better trained and better armed forces. When the fighting died down, we found one rebel who told us his story. Ayman Faraj al Barde was a businessman until recently. Now he's on the front line. We had visited Ayman at his home a week ago in the rebel stronghold of Benghazi and got an up close look at the impact of this war on the home front. His mother made tea, and his wife, who is four months pregnant, didn't try to hide her fears. It's a terrible feeling, and I am afraid all the time, but he has to go fight, she says. Nearly every family here has someone at the front. Eamon's brother, who is a biologist, had a close call in the early days of the protests in Benghazi. This X-ray shows where a bullet, fired by Gaddafi's forces, lodged in his face. Entrance from here, then broke in my teeth then come up under the eye here. Despite that experience, he insisted the whole family supported Eamon's decision to fight. No problem. If he dying for freedom, this is a good thing. That's pretty much what Eamon had to say as well. Since the first drop of blood, every doctor, every lawyer, musician, artist has gone to defend our country because Muammar Gaddafi is trying to shut us up, he says. Eamon and the other volunteers in his unit are still on the front line tonight, hoping to finish this fight soon and get back to the lives this revolution has put on hold. Mandy Clark, CBS News, Benghazi.